In this problem, we're told that the city park is nine and three tenths of a mile, or nine and three tenths miles, from Roland Elementary School. So let's just sketch this out. We have Roland Elementary School here, and if you travel nine and three tenths miles, you go from the school to the city park. So that's our distance there. It's Roland to the city park. And then we're told, well, okay, the city library is three and three-tenths miles from the same school. So we, we don't know what direction it's in. Maybe it goes down here. But it's only three and three-tenths of a mile. And then we get to the library. And that makes sense that the library is close to the school. Um, so the question is asking us, how much farther from the school is the park than the library? So... The first observation to make, I think, is just the obvious one, that 9 and 3 tenths is a lot bigger than 3 and 3 tenths. And the easy way to tell is that the, the whole number, the number out up here, is much larger, right? Whatever this number is exactly, it's 9 holes and then a little bit of something. Whereas this number, it's 3 and some amount of parts, right? It's a much smaller number. So this is a lot further. And what's nice about this problem is they're both in 9 and 3 tenths and 3 and 3 tenths. So when we're comparing how far this is, we want to subtract, right? 9 and 3 tenths minus 3 and 3 tenths. That'll tell us how much further the park is, right, from the school, the 9 and 3 tenths, than the library, the 3 and 3 tenths from the school actually is. Now, if this is feeling tough or difficult here, just remember, since they're, since both numbers have three-tenths attached to them, we can cross those out here to figure out the answer. And then really all we're left with is 9 minus 3, or 6. So here the answer is A. Then think about why we can cross out. Let's look at a simpler example. What if I have 4 and a half, right, minus 2 and a half? Well, what do I have to add the 2 and a half to get the 4 and a half? Well, I have to add 2. Right? And in fact, every time we can think of anything, if you have a dollar fifty, right? And then I say, oh well, we'll take fifty cents away. That's really zero point five. Well then you have a dollar, right? But think about it this way. You could just subtract one minus zero, which is our answer. One. Or here in this case four minus two. And we get the answer of two. As long as the fractional parts are the same, the distance between the two numbers by subtracting is just the difference of the whole parts. And that's what's so nice about this problem. They give you two equal fractional parts. But if we're, if we're not feeling good about that and we're getting confused, we can still subtract 9 and 3 tenths minus 3 and 3 tenths with a little bit of manipulation here. What I like to do is say, oh, well, 9 minus 3 is 6, and then 3 tenths minus 3 tenths is just 0. So again, the answer is 6. But if we don't like that, we can turn each of these into improper fractions, right? To do that, we say 10 times 9 is 90 plus 3. That's 93 tenths. That's just converting this to an improper fraction. Then we subtract 33 tenths. And all I did there was take 10 times 3, plus 3. That's the, the formula I use. You multiply the denominator by the whole part and add the numerator. <coughs> so when we subtract these, 93 minus 33, well, that's what's that? That's 60, right? And then we're counting the number of tenths. We don't subtract the tens there. We're counting the number of tenths. And now we have 60 divided by 10, and that's 6, right? 60 divided by 10 is 6. So we still get the same answer. Anyway, you go at it here. The answer is going to be A, 6 miles. All right, thank you.